Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to another episode of Parasitology series. Today we'll be discussing Trypanosoma brucei gambiensi and Trypanosoma brucei rhodesiensi. But before getting into the lecture, I'd like to tell you that these videos are meant for educational purposes. Things may change, treatments may change with time. If I get wrong or miss anything, your input is welcomed in the comment section. Let's get started. Trypanosoma. The genus Trypanosoma has three major pathogens. Trypanosoma cruzii, Trypanosoma gambiensi, and Trypanosoma rhodesiensi. In today's lecture, we'll have a deep dive about the introduction of Trypanosoma brucei gambiensi and rhodesiensi, their habitat and transmission, life cycle, pathogenesis and epidemiology, clinical findings, lab diagnosis, treatment, and finally the prevention. Trypanosoma is responsible for causing trypanosomiasis. And there are two types of this disease. The first one is African trypanosomiasis, which is also called as African sleeping sickness. That is caused by trypanosoma brucei. And this trypanosoma brucei is divided into trypanosoma brucei gambiensi and trypanosoma brucei rhodesiensi. Another type of this disease is American trypanosomiasis, which is also called as Shag's disease. And it is caused by trypanosoma cruzii. I've discussed trypanosoma cruzii in my recent video. Don't forget to check that out, guys. Trypanosoma gambiensi and rhodesiensi. It causes African sleeping sickness. It is called Nagana in livestock and game animals. In the picture, you can see the tripomaster goats. Habitate. Humans are considered the main reservoir for Trypanosoma brucei gambiensi, but this species can also be found in animals, including primates and ungulates. Domestic cattle are thought to be the most epidemiologically relevant animal reservoir of Trypanosoma brucei rhodesiensi. Bushbuck and other antelopes may serve as reservoirs. Transmission. It is transmitted to humans by the bite of CC flies. Transplacental transmission also occurs, which is responsible for causing the congenital infection. Morphology of trypanosome. It exists in two interchangeable forms. The first one is trypomastigot, which is found in blood, lymph, tissue spaces of various organs, and central nervous system. That includes the brain and spinal cord. The other form is apomastigot. It is found in the salivary glands of facta and culture media. Trypomastigots are also called as polymorphic trypanosomes. Poly means many and morph means shapes. So the trypomastigots have many shapes. They are spindle shaped, they have central nucleus, free flagellum and undulating membrane is also present. The first form is long slender form, which is active, motile, with free flagellum. The second form is short stumpy form, that is sluggish, and is without free flagellum. The third form is intermediate form, with a short free flagellum. Here you can see the long thin form, the long slender form, with a central nucleus, undulating membrane, and a flagellum. This intermediate form with a small flagellum and the short stumpy form with no flagellum. Life cycle. The life cycle of Trypanosoma brucei involves two stages. CC fly stage and mammalian stage. First, I'll talk about mammalian stage, then we'll move towards the CC fly stage. Mammalian cycle. That starts after the introduction of metacyclic trypomastigots. What are the metacyclic trypomastigots? We've talked about the trypomastigots, that it is a form of trypanosome. The metacyclic trypomastigots are formed in intermediate hosts, and the CC fly is the intermediate host, and humans are the definitive hosts. 
These metacyclic tripomastigotes, after the introduction into the humans, are transformed into tripomastigotes in bloodstream and are taken to the other sites. Tripomastigotes multiply by boundary fission in various body fluids, blood, lymph, and cerebrospinal fluid, the CSF. Trypomastigots are detected circulating in blood in acute phase of the disease and these trypomastigots are undetectable in the latent phase of the disease. CC fly cycle. CC fly takes blood meal along with the trypomastigots from the infected human. In the mid gut of vector fly, these are converted into procyclic trypomastigots because they generate or sustain a life cycle and then these multiply by binary fission. The procyclic tripomastigots leave the midgut and transform into apimastigots. The apimastigots multiply in salivary glands and gets converted into metacyclic tripomastigots. CC fly takes blood meal and injects the metacyclic tripomastigots into the human body. And after the introduction of these metacyclic trypomastigots cycle, the mammalian cycle is repeated again. Here is the diagrammatic representation of African trypanosomiasis, which is caused by trypanosoma brucei gambiensi and rhodesiensi. On the right side is the mammalian stage, and on the left side is the CC fly stage. The cycle starts with the first step that the CC fly takes a blood meal and injects the metacyclic trypomastigots. These uh, metacyclic trypomastigots, after the introduction, transform into trypomastigots in the bloodstream and are taken to the different sites of the body, like blood, lymph, and smile and fluid, and in these fluids, they multiply by boundary fission. And then these trypomastigots are detected in blood in acute phase of the disease and are undetectable in the latent phase of the disease. Then again, if the CC fly bites the infected human and takes a blood meal along with these trypomastigots, these trypomastigots will transform into procyclic trypomastigots in the vector midgut. And these procyclic trypomastigots will multiply by binary fission and they will transform into apimastigots in the midgut of the fly. And then these apimastigots will reach the salivary glands and they will multiply there and transform themselves into metacyclic trypomastigots. And again, the fly will bite the human and the cycle will be repeating again and again and again. Epidemiology. African trypanosomiasis is restricted to recognized CC fly belts. It causes a small number of cases but is more virulent. Congenital infection occurs in hyperendemic areas. Pathogenesis. After the introduction of metacyclic trypomastigots, these multiply at the site of inoculation to cause a variable induration. Induration means localized hardening of soft tissues of the body and swelling the primary lesion, which may progress to form a trypanosomal Shanko. That is a painless ulcer. The African forms multiply extracellularly as trypomastigots in blood and lymphoid tissues. They spread to bloodstream, lymph nodes, and in terminal stages to the central nervous system where they produce the typical sleeping sickness syndrome. Lassitude. That is a state of physical and mental weariness. Weariness means extreme tiredness or fatigue, inability to eat, tissue wasting, unconsciousness, and death. Central nervous system involvement is characteristic feature of African trypanosomiasis. Trypanosoma brucei rhodesiensi appears in cerebrospinal fluid in about one month, and Trypanosoma brucei gambiensi appears in CSF in several months, but in small numbers. Trypanosoma brucei gambiensi's infection is chronic and it leads to progressive diffuse meningoencephalitis, 
with death usually in one to two years. The fatal trypanosoma brucia rhodesiense infection rapidly produces somnolence, that is excessive sleepiness, and a person is ready to fall asleep, and coma only during the final weeks of the terminal infection. African trypanosomes of trypanosoma brucii complex are remarkable in that they undergo antigenic variation through a series of genetically controlled glycoproteins that coat the surface of the organism. Variant surface glycoproteins or VSGs. This process is due to genetically induced changes of the surface glycoprotein. By producing different antigenic surface membranes, the parasite is able to evade the host's antibody response. Each population is reduced, but is promptly replaced with another antigenic type before the preceding one is eliminated. Each trypanosome is thought to possess about 1,000 variant surface glycoprotein genes, an example of mosaic gene formation. Clinical findings. Trypanosomiasis is characterized by lymphadenopathy, fever, excessive sleepiness due to encephalopathy or encephalitis, painful skin chancre hat appears about 5 to 15 days after the bite, headaches, muscular and joint pain, rash or itchy skin, weight loss, lab diagnosis, Samples like blood, CSF, lymph node aspirates are needed. Microscopy, Jimsa stained blood smears will show that trypomastigots, highly specific serologic tests, and culture media. Treatment. Early stages of African trypanosomiasis is treated with ceramine or pentamidine. Late stage of African trypanosomiasis, when CNS is involved, is treated with melarosoprol. American trypanosomiasis is treated with nifrutimox. Prevention. Controlling movement of people in and out of fly belts. Using insecticides. Instituting fly control principally with aerial insecticides and by altering habits. And that's it for today's video. I hope you've learned something. Don't forget to like, share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Till next time, Allah Hafiz.